In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create diamond perforations on a plane. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Ok well I, I could use this cube if I wanted to but for ease I'm just going to delete this. And hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh I'm going to select a plane. Then I'll press 7 on my numbers pad to go into top view and then roll my middle mouse to zoom in a bit. Okay I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab on my keyboard. Now the trick with creating equal diamonds or anything equal using this sort of system is you, you always want to make sure you've got equal sort of squares so if I for instance um, made a rectangle out of this by pressing SX followed by 2 I would end up with rectangles so I need to be able to divide this up equally so to do that I would select the loop cut button and just place a loop cut down the middle then come back up to select box up here so you don't make any mistakes press A to select everything then right click and select subdivide now I'll just open up this little box here by selecting the arrow and let's drag this up to 10 now I don't want to affect the outside uh, vertices so what I would do is just place my pointer hold my left mouse button down and drag a box over the middle vertices these are these little dots so these are selected. Now for ease so that you can see what I'm doing I'm going to just roll my middle mouse and zoom in so I've got a good view of these squares. I'm going to come up to vertex and select bevel vertices Now move your mouse away and this will happen. What you don't want is to go past or have the vertices so close that you don't have any structure so just make sure you've got a bit of structure on these lines here. I'm going to roll my middle mouse to zoom out and I'll just close this down. So I'm now going to just come up to the face select button up here and I'm going to select one of the diamonds and I'm going to select the select button and next to select similar or select polygon sides and this means all of the sort of diamonds are now selected and all you do is just press delete and select only faces and that's really all there is to it um, tab to go into object mode and then you could select the little wrench modifier properties then add modifier and let's have a look um, select solidify and just hold my mouse down so I can move this view with middle mouse button and that's already put a thickness to it so I could take this up I could have all sorts of depths if I wanted to and then once you've sort of are happy with the depth you just select the little drop down arrow and select apply and that is all there is to it. Obviously if you were going to make a circle um, you'd have to maybe use a square and perhaps select less um, diamonds and then do a boolean um, modifier to that but I'm not going to go into that this is just going to be a simple tutorial so that's basically all there is to it. Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.